Sitemap or what you might recognize as XML sitemap is one of the most crucial aspect of your website SEO. Your sitemap gives Google and other search engines the guide on how your website is structured, thereby making search engine crawling of your web pages possible. So, it is essential that you create your website sitemap and then submit it to Google and other search engines and these two steps is what I'm about to show you in the next few minutes in this video. And if at any time you want me to help you with the SEO of your website, then you can contact me using the contact details that I drop in the video description. I will be willing to help you. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm going to be demonstrating this XML sitemap tutorial using WordPress. If you want me to use other content management systems like your Wix or Shopify or any other one, then let me know in the comment section. So here am I in the dashboard of my WordPress website. And the very first thing I want to do right now is to install a plugin because this plugin is going to help us to create our XML sitemap very easy and very fast. So what I'm going to do right now is to go to the plugin section here and I'm going to click on add new plugin. Okay, so I'm going to come to the search plugin option here and I'm going to type in your host SEO because the name of this plugin is the UAST SEO plugin. Okay, so here is it. If you already have it installed on your website, then don't worry, just keep all this installation set up. But here, I'm going to just click on activate for the sake of those who don't have this plugin already. All right, so here it has been fully activated. Now, there are so many other things that this plugin is going to help you do as far as SEO is concerned. But then in this video, we are just going to be focusing our attention on how to create our XML sitemap and how to submit it to Google. So that is what I'm going to be doing right now. If I already created other videos where I explained several other things that you can do with your UAST SEO plugin. One of them is currently displayed on your screen and I'm going to be leaving them also in the video description. So feel free to check them up for the other SEO features of this particular plugin. So here, we are just concerned with our XML sitemap creation. Okay, so this is what my UAST SEO dashboard look like. So here, I'll just go straight to, you know, the section where we're going to be creating our XML sitemap. So I'm just, I'm just going to come to the settings option here. I'm going to click on that. All right, so here I'll just scroll down to the bottom of this page. And then I'm going to locate my XML sitemap here. So here automatically this should be turned on. So if yours is turned off for any reason whatsoever, then you will want to toggle on this particular button here. And so this is already turned on as you can see here. So what I want to do right now is to come to this view XML sitemap here and I'm just going to click on that. And then this is what my XML sitemap looks like. Now it looks very simple and like there's really nothing here, but I can assure you that this contains quite a lot. So here is the URL of my XML sitemap. So what I'm going to be doing right now is to submit this particular URL to Google and um, other search engines, but I'm going to be using only Google for this demonstration. Okay, but before I do that, I just want to go ahead and confirm the validity of this particular URL just to be sure. So to do that, I'm going to come to this particular website. So let me open another tab and I'm going to paste in the website here. Okay. I'm going to leave this link in the video description. You can check it up. So this website is just going to help me to validate this particular sitemap that I'm about to, you know, submit to Google to be sure that it's valid. So I'm just going to come in here and I will carefully copy this particular link. And then I'm going to come here. Um, I'm coming here to your sitemap URL and I'm going to paste it in here. And then I'm going to click on validate sitemap. Okay, so you can see here it says no issues detected. Okay, so I'm cool with this. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is the second stage of this XML sitemap installation, which is to go ahead to my Google Search Console and submit it to Google. So let's get over to it. So once again, I'm going to open another tab. 
and then I'm going to paste in my Google search console link here. I will also leave this link in the video description. Okay. Okay, so here I am in my Google Search Console dashboard, but just in case if you don't have your Google Search Console already set up, you can check out the video currently displayed on your screen. I already walk you through how to get it set up. And I also have another video where I show you how to verify the ownership of your domain, you know, um, from this particular Google Search Console dashboard. So make sure you check up on that video and get all of those set up. So here I am, okay, in my Google Search Console dashboard. All I need to do right now to submit this sitemap to Google so that my website can have the opportunity of being crawled and then my website page is ranked on Google. So I'm going to come to this sitemap option here. I'm going to click on that. All right. So here is it. Now, what I'm going to do right now is that if you check up on this XML sitemap, you see that it contains both the my root, you know, domain name and then the forward slash page sitemap, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do right now is that I'm just going to copy only the, you know, the, the forward slash page sitemap that I have here. I'm not going to copy the old thing. So I'm going to just copy only that extended side of my URL. And then I'm going to come in here. As you can see here that the original URL is already here. So I don't want to, you know, paste the whole thing again. So I'm just going to put that here. And then once I do that, I'm just going to click on submit and wait for Google to verify the submission. Okay, so as you can see sitemap submitted successfully. Google will periodically process it and look for changes. You'll be notified if anything goes wrong with it in future. So what this place is telling us is that you don't need to be submitting this sitemap again and again. Maybe you have a new page or you wrote you know, a new blog article. You don't need to come back here to submit a new sitemap. This is going to be done automatically by Google. And then if they encounter any problem and they think that there's anything that you need to do, Google is going to notify you on what you need to do okay so that is what it takes so i'm just going to click on i got it all right so once you do that your xml sitemap is already submitted on google and now you can expect that your pages will be crawled by google crawler and then in a matter of days from now you see that your pages will start ranking on google search result so this is what it takes this is how to create your xml sitemap and how to submit it on google and then other search engines so that you can get your website pages crawled and then your web pages can be ranked on the google search result if you found this video helpful please give it a like so that other people need information like this can get to see it and then for more seo tutorials like this make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert bell thank you and i'll see you in my next video